In an era teeming with future legends, the welterweight division was a battleground for exceptional talent. Yet amidst this remarkable assemblage, there stood an unusual punisher. Paul Williams towered in at 6 foot 1 inches with a staggering 79 inch reach. A true anomaly in the 147 pound division, Williams soon set fire to the division while climbing the ranks. His moniker, The Punisher, reflected not just his towering stature, but also his relentless high volume offense that left the opponent submitting to the onslaught of punches. A southpaw with an unorthodox style, Williams presented a daunting challenge to anyone who dared step into the ring with him. His combination of reach, height, and southpaw stance made him a nightmare for any opponents, earning him a reputation as one of the most avoided fighters of his time. Tragically, his illustrious career was cut short by a devastating motorcycle accident, but not before he achieved remarkable feats, including becoming a two-time WBO welterweight world champion with an impressive record of 41 wins, 2 losses, and 27 knockouts. Williams showcased his talent against some of the best in the sport. In the vibrant 80s, the boxing world was captivated by the electrifying Tommy the Hitman Hearns, a masterful outboxer with fists like thunder. Fast forward to today, we find ourselves spellbound by the presence of Sebastian Fundora, a towering southpaw swarmer making waves in a ring and capturing the 154th title. Yet before Fundora, there was an indomitable force known as Paul the Punisher Williams. Standing at an imposing 6 foot 1 inches, Williams towered over his welterweight peers where the average fighter was a modest 5 foot 10 inches. With a reach that extended an inch longer than the legendary Muhammad Ali, he was a sight to behold. Imagine blending the ethereal, stretchable arms of Dowsum with the relentless fury of Ihana's 100 hand slap. Only instead of slaps, Williams unleashed a flurry of lightning fast punches that broke his opponent's guard, beating them down to submission. His unique style and relentless aggression made him a true spectacle in the ring. A one of a kind talent that redefined what it meant to be a swarmer in boxing. Something that will really capture the imagination of the audience. He leveraged his impressive reach, using his active jab to maintain distance and keep opponents on the defense. As they instinctively covered up, he massively exploited openings pivoting unpredictably to unleash a flurry of power punches from unexpected angles. It was a mesmerizing display of offense, where his movements were overwhelming, turning defense into an opportunity for continuous assault. Look to the knockdown, starts with that uppercut, ends up with a hook. Here's another look at it. It's, it's looked like he's seen him come. He passed his prime, but still fighting left. Williams is definitely found his... One of Williams' most striking hallmarks was his unyielding output, a veritable storm of punches that often eclipsed the 100 mark in a single round. This relentless barrage overwhelmed his opponents, leaving him gasping under the weight of his tireless work rate. It was his extraordinary conditioning that allowed him to sustain such an incredible pace, making it a pivotal component of his strategy. It looks a lot more like six foot first round. Checking out the time of the season. See style, style's made. While Williams might not have been the most devastating puncher in terms of single shot power, it was the sheer volume of strikes that systematically wore down his adversaries. He crowded the space, denying them a chance to breathe, much less formulate a plane, creating a whirlwind of both physical and psychological pressure in the ring. Stop Good body shot from Williams. Nice one. Keep him at bay with a good right. It was rare to see a fighter with such reach engage in close quarters combat, but Williams made it a signature part of his style. Like a heavy machine gun, he used his jab as cover fire, paving a way to close the distance. Once in range, he seamlessly unloaded his combinations, flowing effortlessly from quick punches 
to devastating hooks and uppercuts. This unpredictability in his attacks made him a nightmare to defend against, especially when he hemmed opponents into a corner, leaving them with no escape from the violent storm of the Punisher. Wheels getting discovered. Isn't some of that have to do with what King Thomas is doing? It's time at Williams to great effect. And when they're on taking a round off, we're gonna tell him this round, but to me he looks good job by him to take away his title. 42 more punches in the fight. As a towering southpaw, Williams frequently launches combinations from unconventional angles, turning the ring into a dynamic battlefield. His ability to pivot and slip to the side allowed him to evade punches while catching opponents off guard, making him struggle to predict and defend against his incoming punches. This creative approach often left openings wide enough for him to capitalize, breaking the offensive rhythm in an instant. Very important to get that punch in. Though celebrated for his unrelenting offense, Williams also showcased a defensive style that perfectly complemented his aggressive approach. In the gritty world of trench warfare that boxing can sometimes resemble, it's nearly impossible to escape unscathed. While he may not have possessed the tightest defense, he made up for it by utilizing his height and reach, dipping his long frame while coordinating head movements. This clever evasiveness ensured that he remained within striking distance, always in position to unleash a fury of retaliatory punches. Williams boasts a remarkable stamina and endurance, enabling him to maintain an unrelenting pace even into the later rounds. His heart and fierce determination lit up the ring during tough battles, embodying the spirit of a true warhorse. He viciously pressured his opponents, forcing them into a high stakes contest that left little room for retreat. We should also say here, here's the second knockdown, Max. This is with real pain, not hitting quite with as much crispness as he did in this fight. His unforgiving forward motion and aggressive posture became his trademark, allowing him to dictate not only the pace, but the very rhythm of the fight. With every punch he threw, Williams exuded a commanding presence, pushing opponents back and compelling them to engage in a tumultuous dance, but caution was cast aside for survival. In his world, battles were fought at an intense pace, and his unwavering drive ensured that he was always in control, transforming every fight into a dramatic showcase of heart and tenacity. Williams fires back a four punch combination right on the chin of Antonio Margarita and another. Mar it was a bittersweet reality that Williams had to extend to 154 and 160 just to secure fights, leaving fans to imagine the epic showdowns that could have taken place against the legendary Hall of Famers of the era. The possibilities on those matchups remain a tantalizing dream for boxing enthusiasts everywhere. Didn't forget about his boxing. Punisher! Williams!